make sure you subscribe up for all sorts of fun videos. We do vlogs and hauls and chats and all sorts of things. And today I am back with a come pack with me. Yes, I am doing a come pack with me as we are off to Disneyland Paris. <gasps> oh, we just told the kids um, it was all very exciting. I will probably pop a little clip in here. If it's not in here, it will be on my Instagram somewhere. Yeah, we're off to Disneyland Paris. We are going to be driving. We're going for four nights and I can't flip and wait. So if you're new to the channel, we were supposed to go to stay in Animal Kingdom Lodge for two weeks in August, but obviously with the coronavirus, it was canceled. So Stephen and I decided to look into Disneyland Paris and it looks great. We've explained to the kids, you know, we won't be able to hug Mickey. There's no fireworks, there's no parades, but there's plenty of like selfie spots and all sorts of things so if you love Disney and you want to see what I pack that's what this video is going to be like if you don't love Disney and you just want to know what to pack for a family holiday you might enjoy this video as well it's going to be quite hot when we're there but I've also just looked and there's going to be a bit of rain classic standard whenever we go on holiday so I'll be packing for kind of both types of weather so it'll either be very hot or warm and rainy so probably a little bit like Florida really uh, we're very 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 excited there will be some Disney vlogs coming your way very soon I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing it because in Disneyland Paris if you are 11 and over you have to wear a mask so the children don't have to wear a mask but I will have to wear a mask so I don't know how it's going to be with like speaking and stuff but yeah really 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 excited um, I also might film a little bit of the drive because if you live in England, perhaps you want to know what it's like to drive there. We have driven a few times, maybe. Maybe this might be our fourth time driving, our third or fourth time driving. So, right, come along and come pack with me. So if you're new to my come pack with me's, you might not know that I like to pack in outfits. So I will get all the children's clothes out and I like to pack like a top, a bottom, socks and a pants and then I will probably also pack um, a spare outfit just in case we spill something or drop something and then I will pack um, this time because we might actually go adventuring around France a little bit I might pack like a non-Disney outfit and I also like to get their outfits ready for traveling in so I've just gone into both their bedrooms and got out some bits and pieces that are in the wardrobes already and I'm going to lay Erin's outfits here Ethan's outfit up here and then I'm going to have a, um, a pile for swimming I don't know what the swimming situation's like in Disneyland Paris at the moment but I will certainly vlog it and you know so you know what it's like do we have to book can we just turn up I have no idea I will also have like accessories so this is what we've got so far I'm also going to get some bits and pieces ready for their bags as we are in the car for like eight hours I think about eight 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 and a half hours we will need to pack lots of activities we're going at about six o'clock in the morning so the first bit will be just be a bit like tired in Disneyland Paris we're not booking any food we are going to take food with us and we're also gonna um perhaps there's a McDonald's on site and also we're gonna go to a supermarket which we've never done before so I'm gonna go and get some like cereal bars we will take lots of snacks for during the day we've got water bottles so they'll be able to have water We'll buy like little squash, we'll take juices. Uh, so it's gonna be more, it's gonna be like a self-catering trip really, rather than previous journeys where we've had the food paid for us. This is the cupboard here where we keep all our Disney stuff. So we've got Disney ears, we've got Disney bags. Uh, down there we've got a few bags full of Disney t-shirts. I will leave a link to a video which is where I organized everything. So, super excited to get all the Disney stuff out because obviously we didn't think we would be getting it out until late in the year because we have actually got a trip booked for Halloween as well. So I've got our Disney bags out. Um, we have a few rucksacks that we like. We have these, this one and this one which is from Hype. I really like this Buzz Lightyear one. Uh, however, we could probably do one with, oh, I don't think we've got one. Because we're going to be taking drinks, we probably need one with a drink holder on either side. Has this stitch one got one? No, that's not very handy. We've also got this stitch bag, which I bought twice because I loved it so much. Um, and then this is Ethan's little rucksack. So I will 
probably fill up the stitch one and that one with stuff for the kids in the car and then I'll see which one Stephen wants to carry around the parks during the day. I think I have got quite a lot of Disney handbags but this is a really good one because you can fit lots in. Obviously we'll have to have like face masks and all you know hand sanitizers. so I think I will probably have this one for the park um, during the day. I think that will be the plan. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I have found in one of the bags uh, magic bands from our last Florida trip. And if we go through with going to Florida next year, we have changed the dates, but we're, we're not 100% if we're going to go or not. We can use these because um, I don't think you're going to get free magic bands anymore. So the Haunted Mansion one was Ethan's and that was Stephen's. So I can keep those for next year. We're in the part which is mayhem. Uh, we store all our like Disney clothes in three storage bags. That these are from Home Bargains. They at the time maybe like one or two pound. So I'm just going to go through each bag and see what we want. Actually, I have noticed there's some stuff that the kids have grown out of, so that will go to charity shops. But I'm currently making a pile of mine and Stephen's t-shirts, so we can see what's where. I don't think we'll take any fancy dress for the kids. I might take one for Ethan, maybe. Um, Erin's kind of outgrown one. Oh, I don't know, she has got a... I'll ask her, but I don't think she'll... Oh, we'll get this out. This is a great little day still Disney sign. We love this. Um, she's got some chocolate. This is from Resorts World in Birmingham. I don't know if the shop is still open, but yeah, we'll get that out and put that in the living room. So I will just go through the, each bag, get out what we want. Oh, there's a Woody outfit. I'll ask Ethan if he wants to take, look I've also got some like jazzy skits but I did just say to Stephen I think I'm going to have to try some of this stuff on in case it doesn't fit me. This is um, a really nice midi skirt that I like to wear um, with a mini t-shirt because mini mini's colours, um, I think she used to have a blue, have I invented that in my head or like stitch t-shirts this looks really good as well. We're getting there, going through those bags are really useful because I've got a huge pile now to send to the charity shop of stuff that the kids have grown out with. I have kept a few bits and pieces for like Disney memories. Um, but we're getting there with the outfits. I got all of Stephen's t-shirts out and he can pack what he wants to wear. Like, obviously I don't choose what Steve wants to wear. Um, I have got a winter outfit, like a rainy day outfit for them both just in case it gets a bit cold. Um, I need to sort out which t-shirts Ethan's going to wear. There's a couple of t-shirts that I've got that I'm going to file back because I'm not going to take those for Erin. So I just need to, I've got Erin's kind of sorted. I need to just work out what's going to go on the bottoms with all these. Uh, I don't know if we need to iron them, but maybe we should iron them when we get there. Oh, I'm going to get out the, um, what they're called, those little things that I used to pack, the little packing cubes. Oh! Hooray, outfit one fits my lovely spotty dotty skirt and then my t-shirt that says Minnie Mouse loves the dots. Erin uh, used to have a matching t-shirt like this but it would never ever fit now, it was tiny. Um, so yes, outfit one fits. Yay, outfit number two. This is one of my favourite ever Disney purchases. Says, I'm here for the photos. This was from Florida last year. I kind of got it at the end of the holiday. It was quite expensive, I think. Um, but I love this with some little sandals. Yee! Oh, there's a lot going on in this outfit. But I'm going to take this spotty skirt because it will go with all sorts of, uh, all sorts of t-shirts. <laughs> Maybe not this one, my bag. I will say Paris isn't as, um, you don't see as many people perhaps with ears and stuff on in Paris. It's not quite as, like Florida, you see, you know, I mean you don't see loads in Florida, but you'll see a few more in Paris, there's not, not quite as many. Um, and actually I've never been to Paris when it's been sunny, ever, I've only ever been and it's been pouring down with rain. so. I'm just going to pack a few more of my outfits and I'll show you where we are with the kids and then I'll get our toilet shoes bag out. I'm laughing because I started to try a couple of things on and I was like, oh, I'm just going to try some random dresses under my wardrobe. So I've got a completely different dress on now because Stephen and I are going for our first date in 2020 tonight. Um, right, Stephen's just bought the packing cubes up so I'm going to pack in the packing cubes. I've just made a phone on my list 
we haven't. I've made a list on my phone of the stuff that we are missing that needs to be packed. So, for example, Ethan needs some shorts, but they, they need to be ironed. Erin needs some socks. They need to be washed. I need some pants. Just to see where have all my pants gone. So, there's some pants somewhere. So, I've made a list, and what I'm going to do is pack in the packing cubes, and then we'll have an extra packing cube of miscellaneous bits and pieces that needs to go with everyone else's. I'm pretty much packed, actually, because it's all kind of clothes that I don't have any intention of wearing in the next four days. So that's good. Ah. Right, let's see how many packing cubes we can get all this stuff into. Let's see. Stephen's stuff will still be left and there'll be a pile of outfits that we're gonna travel in. Let's see. I'll click and be fancy. Ta-da! And I did pack Stephen's little t-shirts and he's got a little bag but he'll probably have to have some stuff not in a um, a bag. I've got a dress in case we want to go out somewhere not in Disney that I can't fit in anything. We've got some towels. In there is where we keep all our plugs. These are just for Farmazan. There's all sorts of different types of bags. I was going to do the boys in dark blue, the girls in light blue and then I didn't. So it's Ethan and I in dark blue, Erin and Stephen in light blue. Oh no, hang on. Oh. oh no, yeah, that's me. So those two are mine. Uh, one for Ethan, one for Erin, and then we've got one full of hats and stuff, one full of pajamas, and um, swing costumes. So it's all sorted. Then we've got their three bags. I actually put my pajamas in my bag because my bag's been a bit squished. So I think the pajamas hopefully will make it unsquish. Um, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to do the toilet trees. If you've been following me for a while, you know I use this, which is from Amazon, which is a cool day. What's it called? A bago. It's really good, and you can actually just hang it up. So I will now fill this up with bits, and then I'll make a list of stuff that we need. Um, so I will take some plasters. I've got some bobbles. I will also put in some paracetamol as well and then shampoo and everything. And then also I've got bits that I like, like my toner. Um, so this one I'll have all family stuff in and then I'll have another one that has my makeup in. If you've watched some of my kind of organisation videos, you know I have this drawer full of um, minis and stuff that people buy me or, you know, sometimes you get them in little gift bags or samples. So I'm going to go through the here and see what I can take from here. We've got some toothbrushes I can see. Um, the suntan lotion we really like is uh, the Factor. It's like a spray one, which we have run out of. So I might have to add that because it's like a mist, which is really, really good from Banana Boat. So I'll see if I can get that tomorrow. Um, but right, let me go have a little go through these. Hey, okay, we were low on supplies, guys. <laughs> Um, I switched the plain plasters for Disney plasters. I'm also going to do like a Disney bag. Let me know if you want to, what's in my Disney bag? I might do what's in a Disney bag blog post. Um, and I've got my toothbrushes. Yeah, I need to make a list of, of stuff. Maybe I will do a, maybe I'll do another video which what's in my Disney bag, perhaps. Disney Parks bag. Uh, so yeah, overall, if you're going to Disneyland Paris, I, I, I've only ever been when it's cold. Let me turn you around. I've only ever been to Disneyland Paris when it's cold. Um, but what we are packing is mainly shorts, t-shirts, um, always pack a spare outfit. For me, I wear like skirts and a t-shirt. I also wear um, snag tights because your legs do rub a bit because you're walking around. It's not as much as you'd walk around in Florida. It's just not, it's not as big as Florida. It's quite a, you know, it's manageable. Um, it might not even be as big as to walk around as Alton Towers if you live in the UK. So that's what we take. We will also take Rain Max, which we can easily fold up and put in our bags. Um, now we have got to take face masks for the adults. So I have packed a few disposable face masks, but we've also, masks rather, but we've also got reusable face masks. Obviously, if we're, we haven't got enough to have like five days worth of reusable face masks. I was just saying to Stephen actually, I think me and Stephen better make sure in our car that we have like a face mask there ready to go just in case you have to pop to a shop or something because in 
from this week in England, it's going to be mandatory to wear a face mask. So we've got those as well. Um, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to pop to Home Bargains tomorrow and pick up some bits and pieces. So um, you should have already seen a Home Bargain haul or there'll be one coming up of some of the stuff I've got. So that's it really. Um, these are going to the cases. Towards the end of the week, I will pack shoes. So I will pack... If you're thinking of shoes to take on a Disney holiday, I like saltwater sandals because they're comfortable for me and also if you, you they can get wet and it doesn't matter. So I'll pack sandals for us all. I'll also take some Converse and Ethan. Um, Erin's got some new trainers. Ethan will be happy just in his sandals and some socks. We, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Ethan loves sandals and socks. Stephen will probably have flip-flops and also some pumps. The key is just to be comfortable, really. We are staying on site, so we can pop back to the hotel if needs be. Uh, but yeah, we're really, 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 really excited. We just can't wait to get there. It will be interesting to see how it how it is, and we'll report report back to you. And as we're driving, it means that um, we could perhaps drive somewhere for the afternoon and go to the supermarket or supermarché. Bonjour, and just escape these four walls for a little bit we're still not confident enough to go flying but because we're going to be in the car we feel that should be okay so <gasps> yeah i just wanted to add this is the next day just add this little bit in this is the box that we're going to take for food and i have got some little plastic bags which we will reuse for our next trip as well and each day i allocate a set number of snacks and then we can just pick this up and then pop that in our bag um, and then also we've got one for breakfast as well and then a few extras they have exactly the same stuff in so there's no fighting and then what we do <laughs> i feel like i sound like such a geek but this is what we do every holiday and then say for example we get to the end of the day and there's a few snacks left over that will go in the next day's bag uh and then we will just bring this box back and then we'll use the bags again for when we go to our next little seaside holiday and we will take this box i'm also going to put some squash in here so um yeah that's how we organize our snackage am i a geek yes does this bring me great joy yes right i've actually done most of the packing now and i will show you so we've got two cases which is four nights and we might have to take one extra little bag i've got all the packing pods whatever you like to call them all nicely packed in and then we've got a towel on top of each one over here we've got some shoes we've got um, a handbag so it's all packed nicely we've got some um spare face masks um, also, you must always remember when you're going to Paris, any Disney holiday actually, raincoats. So we have raincoats up here. Stephen, I've packed like his underwear and his Disney t-shirts and Stephen's going to go through this and decide what he wants to take and then he's going to pack it because he's a grown man, I don't need to pack his stuff for him. Um, I've gone with, I've got some saltwater sandals upstairs, I've gone with some Converse in case it rains and also these Teva. And I'll put on my stories how they last because I've not worn them around Disney Park before. That could either be good or disastrous. Erin has got her trainers and some sandals. And Ethan's got two pairs of sandals. Oh, maybe I'll, I'm going to put another. There's another pair somewhere. I don't know where they've gone. But Erin's Erin's got some. also got some blue like sandals. I'm not sure where they've gone, where they've vanished. Maybe she's got them on her feet. The night before an early start, I like to lay everything out ready to go. So we've got their outfits. Here's Erin's outfit. She's just got trainers, um, a Mickey t-shirt, and I'm wearing the same one. Some little shorts. We've got pants and socks and her stitched denim jacket. Ethan's got a Mickey top, some Avengers socks, his goofy hat. And then they've also got a bag each, and I've put one of their favourite cuddly toys in. They've got the colouring from the Home Bargains haul. Also, they've got some little treats. I put in tissue in there as well. And what has Erin got? I've just put one of Erin's reading books in. They will also have their headphones in, and they'll both have their tablet. So those will be in the back with, the back with them. So they can just kind of dip in. I will also have... We're going to take a packed lunch, so I'll have like a picnic kind of bag as well in the car. And then we have this bag here, which is going to be our 
main park bag and in it is a spare change of clothes because I have driven with the children before and one of them has been sick within half an hour. So we've got a spare change of clothes each. I've also been where they've spilt stuff down them. I've got some plastic bags just in case anybody is a bit travel sickness. Hopefully they won't. I've got some uh, face masks. I've got some baby wipes. I've also got some hand sanitizer. In here we'll go our passports and also because we're going on the Euro tunnel, we have to write a letter of declaration to say that we have no symptoms of coronavirus. Um, toiletries I leave out to the last minute. That's Erin's tablet that needs to be packed. Toiletries we leave out, out to the last minute so we can put some bits and pieces in. And in this we will put plugs for chargers, for cameras, for laptops, whatever we need. So, yes, I think we're kind of organised. My clothes are upstairs and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching our come pack with me. I will do a What's in My Disney Parks bag, either a blog post or a video, and that will come soon, and I'll let you know on Instagram when that's up. And I will see you soon for a vlog. Ah, a Disney vlog. It might be a little bit later than usual because we will be travelling back. But um, I'll try and get it to you within a week. And there'll probably be two because we're there for four days. So I'll probably do two vlogs. Um, and I just cannot wait. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or stuff that you want us to look out for while we're there. So like, it might be questions about social distancing. It might be questions about how we book our holiday. What's it like to drive? what are the character meet and greets like um but yay going back home guys i love you lots and i'll see you soon bye